Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. I'm Jenner here, and today we're continuing with our second lesson of Arduino tutorials. In the last video, we set up the Arduino IDE on your PC. Today, we're taking the next step, understanding the basic structure of an Arduino program. So, every Arduino program, or sketch as we call it, has two main parts, void setup and void loop. Let's start with void setup. Void setup is where you write the code that runs once when the Arduino starts up or resets. Think of it like preparing the stage before the main event. For example, if we are using an LED, we'll use setup to tell the Arduino on which pin the LED is connected to. Like this. Uh, third pin is an output. So it's just an example. And the void loop, on the other hand, is the main event. It's where you write the code that runs over and over again in a loop. For example, if you want an LED to blink continuously, the instructions for that will go here. Now notice the curly braces. These are super important on Arduino coding. They group blocks of code together. For example, everything inside the curly braces of setup will run once, and everything inside the curly braces of void loop will run repeatedly, over and over. So make sure you always open and close these braces properly or you'll get an error when uploading your code. Now let's try to turn on an LED. So, here I have an Arduino, a breadboard, an LED, and some jumper wires. Let's start by setting this LED on our breadboard. I connect the LED's positive side to one of the digital pins on Arduino. At this case, I will use the third pin. And the other pin of LED, so the ground, I connect on the ground on Arduino. So that's it. Now let's write the code. In setup function, I already have specified on which pin my LED is connected to. So what I'm gonna do now in the loop function, I will turn on my LED by writing digital write third pin high. So that's it, but be careful, if you write, for example, one of these letters, uppercase, for example, D, when you verify the code, it will give you an error. So for example, this uppercase letter writes lowercase, verify again, and again, we will receive an error message, yeah. You have to be careful when you write the code. So select your Arduino board type here, uh, the port, and let's go. Once your code is uploaded, as you see, the LED turns on. Now let's make it blink. Below this digital write hide, 
I add a delay of 200 milliseconds. This delay of 200 milliseconds says the Arduino pause for that time. Then, digital right, third pin low, and I turn off the LED. Now let's upload the code and see what happens. I uploaded the code, but the LED doesn't blink. It's because after the LED turns off, it lights up so quickly that we don't even notice it has turned off. So what we're gonna do, below this digital right low, I add another delay of 200 milliseconds. And now, the LED will be turned on for 200 milliseconds and turn off for 200 milliseconds. So now it's gonna work. Let's upload the code. Yep. As you see guys, now it works properly. It turns on for 200 milliseconds and turns off. And that's it for this video. You'll learn the basics of the Arduino ID algorithm. These are the building blocks for all Arduino projects. In the next episode, we'll take these concepts further, so stay tuned.